The game has changed so much, the, the salaries have changed so much, and that's where the pressure comes from. I mean, if you're going to get paid that kind of money, you got to be able to produce. And Brett has produced. He's done a great job over at uh, Clemson. So, uh, you know, yes, that helps us all, I think, down the road. So how many defensive ends can you sign? All of them that want to come. I, you know, we're just trying to – that's where we have to go. we got to find more speed like I kept talking about, and that's our number one priority. I think that and probably linebackers right now, getting those guys that fit into our program and our defense and what we're trying to get accomplished. So uh, is there a number? I don't know yet. We hadn't reached it. Coach hadn't said stop yet. No. We, I, Coach says you keep signing all the defensive players, especially D linemen that you can sign, which I think it's always good. I mean, if you look at the way we have worked in the past, you know, you're taking those defensive ends and you're making them uh, defensive tackles if they're big enough. You're taking these outside linebackers and you're making them defensive ends, and that's where you're trying to get your speed. That's the way this defense is built, and that's what we're trying to do. Relationship you and John Scott have built. What's that? What's that been like through through spring and now through the summer? Kind of working. I really love John Scott. I think it's just like I talk about John and uh, Chavis and I always having the same moral value and you know and just looking out for the kids and it's more about them and what they can do the rest of their life, not just today. Trying to build that type of young man, and I see John Scott being the very same way. John really cares about his players. He, you know, he cares about this football team, and just a good young man. And I think he does a great job coaching. You look at where he's been, and uh, you know, he fits into our system in a way that when he came from uh, the Jets, you know, he obviously there's some guys up there that we were tied into already that Chief and I'd been around. So to be able to come here and right back into this system, I think it's made it an easy adjustment. You excited to get Dorian Gerald on campus and then kind of work with him once he gets here? Yeah, we really are. I think, and I know Dorian's getting impatient. He wants to be here right now. He, everything goes right. He finishes up on Thursday and he'll be here on Friday. So uh, we're just looking forward to it. He's worked hard to do, to be able to get here. Working with those guys that you have at the end spot uh, and getting them out there after 15 practices in the spring, kind of seeing how they've done this summer, uh, just the work that you guys are going to start putting. You know, I, I have always thought that you you would see a huge jump usually in the fall practices, in two-a-days. It's amazing how, because you're teaching so much the whole spring and just the verbiage and just all those little things. So when we come back this fall, I think we will see more uh, improvement just over the first few days just because – they're not having to think as much. That's where we got to get it to, so they don't have to think. It's just reaction. Defense is about reaction. I, you got to react. We all have, you know, we have an assignment, but you, it's got to just be muscle memory. That's what we're looking for. You get to meet with them a little bit post summer, I guess, or at, towards the end of summer. Coach Craig was saying, just what what was the message to them, and what have you guys really tried to uh, get them to work on this summer? And, Yeah, we got a a couple of meetings a week with them. The whole thing that we were trying to do is it was a lot of review stuff, just going back over, like I said, so it wasn't one of those things when we got out there that they were having to think and we're having to – there's always going to be teaching, but our teaching is going to be more involved in technique stuff because I think they – They've watched enough film, and we've been over it enough with them this summer that they know the scheme now. They know the verbiage. They know what we expect. I think that's the biggest thing, that they know what we what we expect and what we want from them. So I think, again, that we'll see hopefully more improvement these next 15 practices twice, as, and they'll just be more relaxed out there. What do you see uh, from Chief? been you were with him for so long i think his intensity is even higher than it's ever been yeah i think that's what he wants he uh you know he he wants us all to be successful obviously he wants the razorback nation to be proud 
I think, you know, go back when I was here before, there were a lot of people that wanted to try to get him here then. You know, they just couldn't couldn't make it happen financially, you know, and so I think there's a lot of people proud that John's here. I know I am and that I got a chance to come back and be a part of it. But I see him probably being more intense and working harder than even I remember before just because he wants to make this the type of place that everybody wants it to be. He's been hard on recruiting, it looks like. Oh, yeah. He's, he's you know, a player mentions him. Yep. He, uh, you know, I think he works hard at that. You know, he knows that's where it starts. <laughs> hey, we can all be great coaches, but if we don't have those, those players on the field, it makes it a whole lot harder. Yeah, it, that's where it starts. We got to get the guys that fit our scheme in here and that want to play for us. Just who have been your leaders this summer, from what you've heard, and, and building off of what they did in the spring, and and on your spot and John Scott's up there on the. I think they they talk about TJ has done a great job. Obviously, uh, Sosa's done a great job. Randy, in a quiet way, Randy Ramsey just working his butt off all summer. Those guys just stand out a little bit from what the strength staff has said. You know, we don't get to go out there with them and do anything with them, but listen to Coach True and his guys and just talking to the players. Uh, you know, obviously, you got on our side of the ball, you got to throw Scooter in there. I think he's unreal, but up front, those three guys, in my opinion, would be the best leader. You've got numbers all across the line, you know, to, to build off of for depth. Consistency is a big thing, um, but also trying to build off. If you have one good in, you need another one to feed off of each other. Is it, you, can you see that from guys like Randy and, and um, McTelvin and Sosa and, and maybe Dorian when he gets here to where you can, you can pull pressure? From? Oh, yeah, I think that's, that's what you're looking for. You've got to be at least two deep and not have a drop-off and hopefully three deep and that third guy has to always be ready because one guy gets hurt and we're going to rotate a lot. I mean, we're going to play up front between John and I. Hopefully we can play 12 guys. And it in this league, you better be able to because if you can't, you're going to be in trouble. We don't want our guys having to play 50 snaps a game. I talked to you pre-spring about just you've seen success here at Arkansas. You've been a part of it. Can you feel that kind of building with what you guys are t- trying to do here? I really can. I think uh, I think the kids are excited. Like I've said time and time again, getting them to buy in and trust us. I think they're starting to do that. I know they're hungry. Uh, I know Coach Morse brings in a lot of energy. Chief brings a lot of energy. Joe Craddock brings a lot of energy. So these kids are excited about it. What we got to do, we got to be successful early. Uh, you know, and then if there is a bump in the road, which there always is, you know, to be able to handle adversity and step back up and not miss a lick, and that's, you know, that's going to be uh, that's going to be where the interesting part comes in when something like that happens.